This is going to be the Beta FPV Meteor 75 Pro HD. It is probably one of the smallest and lightest FPV drone that currently uses the O4 Air unit. So in this video, I am going to be guiding you the process of assembling it from scratch. We will set everything up in beta flight, we will bind it to the radio, bind it to the goggles, and at the end, we will be doing some flight tests together so I can share some of my initial thoughts about it. Alright, without further ado, let's get right into it. Hey. I bet I got you with that heroic music, but in fact, this is just going to be a simple tutorial video. So enjoy it. Help me watch the whole thing. Help me like and subscribe. I'm out of here. So let's start by looking at what you are actually going to be getting in the box. So first off, yeah, let's just dump everything out so it's easier to do it this way. Okay, so you're going to get like a supporting package, which is just probably not going to be at helpful at all because there's not a lot of information on there. So yeah, this is going to be the bind and flight version without the VTX. So you have to install the O4 by yourself. So you're going to get the canopy, you're going to get the over mounting cage and additional props. And these are going to be important cables that you wanted to keep because, yeah, if you lose these, you won't be able to connect to beta flight. They also did provide us with additional mounting screws for the over air unit, I believe. And I don't know what these are for, actually. Ah, I think these are going to be the mounting brackets for the over air camera. Little antenna, which is much shorter than the one that is coming with it. So this is actually better. Next, you're just going to be bringing out your self-purchased over air unit light. Next, we will be installing the camera bracket to the over air unit. So make sure your camera bracket, the first piece, you want it to facing this side and the camera facing down like this. So make sure you don't install it incorrectly. Otherwise, you will have to remove it. Next, you're going to be hooking these gummy adapters into the thing. Next, you're going to bring out this little adapter piece for mounting. And you're just going to be stuffing it into the gummies on the other side. Alright, so this should be your final outcome. Next step, we're just going to be mounting the camera into the canopy. Should be fairly simple. Next, we're going to bring out the main body of the drone. You're going to remove the screws that is attached here because this is way too short. In the package, you're also going to be getting some of the longer screws. And these gummies are for the O4, but since we already have something on there, I don't think we need to add anything on top of it. Simple. You're just going to be plugging in the cable. So this is the cable that's originally coming with the O4. It's a little bit long, so probably potentially we'll just make a shorter one to save on weight later on. Something I later noticed is that in the package, there is actually a shorter cable for the O4 unit. So if you want to use this, it's possible. But for now, this should do the job. Next, we're going to bring out the antenna. Just gonna be plugging it in first. It's gonna be right here. Should be fairly simple. UFL snap in. All right. So one thing we forgot to mention is that the orientation. You can see that the board actually has an arrow pointing a direction. So this is actually gonna be the front that you wanted to do. So we're actually gonna be mounting the board like this, so we can avoid the wire having contacts with the flight controller to prevent additional like friction, which is something we don't want. Next up, it's just gonna be the simple ones. Screw it back in and everything should be working. Actually, we still have to set it up, but yeah. All right, so after we have completed the installation, this is going to be somewhat of the outcome that you should be expecting. Next, there are just going to be two things that is going to be in your way before you can get this in the air. So first thing, you need to connect the video system in order for you to see. Second is you have to connect the radio system in order for you to control. So for the video system, there, all, there is only going to be one option. The DJI O4 is only going to be working with the DJI line of goggles. And for that setup process, I'm going to be referring you to the video down below as that is going to be a more throughout and detailed video video to help you. Secondly, you're going to have to connect the radio system. So for this one, interestingly, there is going to be two options for you to decide. So the first option is that since this is an O4 air unit, you do have a receiver built into the O4 air unit, which you will be able to use a DJI RC if you wanted to do that. Obviously, there are also going to be some restrictions. So yeah, the video down below is also going to be guiding you the entire process. The second option is you will be able to use the Express OS, which is probably going to be most of us. So the Express OS, I'm going to be guiding you the step-by-step -step process to set everything up in this video. All right, let's get going. 
Before we actually move to our PC to complete the beta voice setup, let's actually bind the drone with the radio first. So the method that we're going to be using, it's going to be the cheat method. You're going to plug in the battery three times to the drone and then uh, activate the buy button of the radio and then they're just going to bind together. That's going to be the cheat method. But if you're interested in the more advanced binding phrase method, yeah, videos are going to be down below as well for you to take a reference. All right, so what you're going to have to be doing is you're going to go into the system. You're going to go to the Express OS Lua script and you're just going to scroll down to the bind and kind of hold it here and what you have to do at the drone site is you're going to plug and unplug two three plug it in the number fourth time and this will allow the drone into binding mode and you're just going to hit mine right here all right so you can see that these are actually connected together if it's not connected together for some reason then you have to check your radio firmware because that's most likely the case that is it's not matching it has to be both on 3.x in order for them to bind together so something you wanted to pay attention all right so let's actually move to the pc to finish the setup all right so next we're just going to be coming to a computer and you're going to bring out this little dongle which should be coming with your package all you needed to do is plug it in down below to the only port that you can find and next i want you to plug in a USB C cable but the rest goes to your computer obviously and if you don't have a PC, it's okay to use this to connect to your cell phone and launch the SpeedyB app. It's going to be the same thing. All right, so once you have connected to the PC, I want you to launch Betaflight. And if you don't know what Betaflight is, it's just going to be a download link for you to download it. And once you have it, connect. And as you can see that in this one, since this is a bind and fly and it's meant for the 04 unit, most of the stuff is going to be completely set up for you. So you do not have to adjust anything. All the configuration whatsoever is going to be done. So if you wanted to adjust your personal craft name, this is where you can do it. But the rest of the stuff, it's going to be the default stuff that you don't, don't have to touch. So what we're going to be doing right now is we're just going to be going to the receiver tab. All right, so at the receiver tab, this is where you can see if you actually have bounded your quad. The way of doing it is just to move your throttle sticks, move your yaw sticks, move your sticks to see if you're actually getting any inputs. If you are getting these inputs, which means that the bounding is successful. If you don't, which means you are not bounded, you have to redo it again. All right, next, we're just going to be going into the modes tab. At the modes tab, what you have to do right here is just to check to see if the switches is going to be the ones that it's going to be same as your radio. So, yep. Okay, so first of all, we wanted to look at the arm switch. These are already pre-programmed. And arm switch in general, if you are on a radio that is just on the default setting, the aux one should always be on the one on the top, on the far left, on the bottom. And this one is going to be the arm and the, the modes. So this one is going to be for angle. So you can see that on the bottom, we're going to be at angle mode in the middle horizon. And on the top, is going to be our acro. Next, let's look at the beeper. So the beeper, my setup aux 4 is going to be on this channel. So you can see that this is actually going to be activating the beeper. As for the flip over crash, my setup is going to be this one. So it's going to be aux 3. But if you're just having the kind of like the default radio settings, it should be by the sequence. So 1, 2, and 3, and 4, probably like that. So you can just flip it to see what you have, actually. After we have set up everything in beta flight, we're actually just going to be coming back to our bench. I'm going to teach you how to connect the O4 to the goggles. So this is going to be the goggles N3, and this is obviously going to be working with the goggles 2, goggles Integra, goggles N3, and also the goggles 3. But we're just using the N3 to demonstrate, and the binding process should be somewhat similar. So first of all, I want you to power up the goggles, and you have to go into the goggles status menu and you're going to switch to the O4 light and after this you should be ready next i want you to power up the fpv drone using the battery next we're going to be long pressing the power button on the goggles to make sure it goes into binding mode okay so this is going to be the sound that you should be hearing at the drone side i want you to also press the bind button all right so once you hear the sound it has been bounded you can see that we're actually going to be getting footage and after this let's actually just really head out to test like this for the first time all right, so you know the drill, switching the scene to the front yard as we're going to be test flying the Meteor 75 Pro just for the first time. And for the battery wise, we will be using the Beta FPV Lava 550 mAh battery. And this one has a higher C rating, so it's typically, it's su and supposedly, this should give us a little bit more punch. I'm just like really excited to try this out. All right, let's get going. All right, so this is going to be a first flight for the Meteor 75 Pro 04. And the footage one currently you're seeing it's going to be coming from the like onboard recording of the O4, which is super convenient that you have a little like kind of built in storage on top of this thing. Yeah, so also the footage is going to be stabilized by Gyroflow. I don't know if there's going to be choppiness because this is also the first time I'm doing, but in case you wanted to learn how to do the Gyroflow stabilization, there's going to be a video down below just to show you how particularly how to get Gyroflow installed and how to like upload your phone like videos into the Gyroflow system and get it stabilized. 
so yeah whoa all right so first impression is that obviously this drone because of the actual camera weight and the vtx weight you're gonna feel that this is gonna be a lot heavier compared to the rest of the one s group so this is probably not gonna be best if you are trying to go with like stunts this is just probably a good cinematic fire you know if you just want to like a little tiny setup and the footage quality definitely i would say it's more than enough for social media grade for professional probably you still want something bigger this one i was thinking about i was probably going to be using this one for like chasing like rc small cars you know in indoor because this size is just going to be perfect even like a 2s when you have like a little short rc course 2s is going to be a little bit fast and this one i would say probably is going to be just right yeah whoa whoa okay all right so we have our first crash and we kind of saved it <laughs> i don't know yeah so there was just a gust of wind and it's yeah when you have a gust of wind in one us you know it's just not going to survive the wind so something you have to pay attention when you're flying this outdoor but this is definitely something that you can use to practice a lot in indoors i will strongly suggest probably not use this to do a lot of freestyle just kind of like practice your flying skills definitely no problem if you wanted to do like real estate filming or something this is not going to be a very good training platform because it kind of imitates what it feels like when you're flying indoor when you're flying a bigger drone like always good to start with a small one so you kind of have an idea of how it actually operates like inside and also flying tiny loops i do think that is very very important so if you are an avatar flyer and you wanted to kind of improve your skill so i think getting this one is probably going to be very good because you will be able to use whatever equipments the radios you have and the goggles and you have a little small little tiny thing to practice on which is going to be nice because yeah when you fly something with the 6s power and something like this with just 1s you're going to feel that there's going to be a significant drop of power and if you're able to fly tiny loops no problem you know you kind of will be able to fly something big Yeah, so I guess that's going to be about it. Since this is the first flight, I kind of wanted to do a more packs before I throw out my review video. So, yep, stay tuned for that one, actually, because so far, I think I am leaning to liking this one a lot because I think the platform and most of the stuff I'm seeing, I don't see a lot of jello like everybody was saying. So, actually, not bad, but, <laughs> you know, we'll just have to see the end result video to find out how it actually looks. But so far, this is actually pretty good all right so i hope this video is going to be helpful for the setup Ooh, this crash over there yeah any questions or comments please feel free to leave it down below and if you like more those kind of contents please help me support by liking and subscribe and all right i'll just see you in the next one bye for now mm -hmm.